Hello and welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we will be talking about how to deal with square factors and even exponent factors in inequalities. This video is related to our last video in which we talked about a skill for solving products or quotients with odd exponent factors. Squares are important. Ignore the squares and even exponents. Square factors and even exponent factors are always positive, so multiplying or dividing a term by a non-zero square factor or a non-zero even exponent factor does not affect the direction of the inequality sign. We should ignore the square factor or even exponent factor whether it is in the denominator or the numerator when one side of an inequality is multiplication and the other side is zero. Ignoring the square and odd exponents only remain are the same theory. Remember them carefully. For example, if a cubed times b squared is less than zero, then a cubed times b squared whole over a squared times b squared is whole less than zero over a squared times b squared, or a is less than zero. That is, a cubed times b squared is less than zero becomes a is less than zero when we ignore the square factors. If a times b to the power of 4 times c to the power of 7 is less than zero, then this can be written as a times c is less than zero because only the odd exponents remain when we ignore the squares. If x cubed times y to the power of 6 whole over z cubed is less than zero, then this can be written as x over z is less than zero because we can ignore squares and only odd exponents remain when there is a square in the denominator or the numerator.